Welcome to the weekly Ransomware Roundup, your weekly summary about all things ransomware, data protection, data security, backup and DR, storage, and cloud. As always, the links for these news stories can be found in the description below. Without further ado, this is the Roundup for the first week of April 2022. Payment platform Cash App, a subsidiary of the U.S.-based company Block, has suffered a data breach potentially exposing the critical data of 8.2 million current and former customers. The incident happened when a former employee downloaded reports containing Cash App customer information. In their SEC filing, the company noted that the stolen information contained full names and brokerage account numbers. VMware has revealed critical bugs that impact five of its products, including the Cloud Foundation Bundle. Three of the new VMware vulnerabilities have gotten a 9.8 out of 10 severity score on the CVSS scale, and two have earned a 9.1 score. The bugs allow malicious actors to exploit network access to trigger server-side template injection and bypass OAuth 2 ACS framework due to exposed endpoints. For the past month, a hacktivist group known as NB65 has been breaching Russian entities using the leaked Conti source code to steal their data and leak it online. The group warned that the attacks are due to Russia's invasion of Ukraine. The Russian organizations claimed to have been attacked by NB65 include document management operator Tensor, Russian space agency Roscosmos, and VGTRK the state-owned Russian television and radio broadcasting agency. Security researchers have observed attackers exploiting the Spring for Shell Java-related flaw to install the Mirai botnet on targeted systems. While Spring for Shell isn't quite as dire as Log for Shell, most security firms, the U.S. Cybersecurity Agency and Microsoft, are urging developers to patch it if they're using the Java development kit from version 9.0 and upwards. In each of the stories we report on every week, hackers and malicious actors look for and exploit vulnerabilities in companies' networks, applications, and production to encrypt their critical data. To help you avoid becoming our next news story, our team has put together eight best practices that you can use to make sure your endpoints are ransomware-proof. Find the link in the description. High Street retailer The Works says it has been targeted in a cyber attack forcing it to shut some of its stores. The stationery and booksellers said the hack also resulted in the temporary suspension of deliveries to its shops and longer delivery times for online orders. While the firm does not currently expect the incident to have an adverse impact on its financial position, the company's shares have fallen 10% since markets opened Monday. Lastly, the promo of the week. Get a 100 terabyte to 10 petabyte, 1000 watt, fully air-gapped and immutable backup and DR appliance with SAN, NAS, and object storage starting at $8,900. Check out Stonefly's website for more info. That's it for this weekly roundup. Stay safe. See you next week.